Hey YouTube, Jarvis Baker. I've solved the Cardo to the CB two-way problem of bypassing the free wire on the Goldwing GL1800. Um, what I've done is I've added another headset unit, which I stripped out the microphone and the headphones and I plugged it directly into the mic um, wires on the five pinned in cable. So what I did was I ordered on Amazon a whole bunch of different fittings and things to help me with uh, connecting to the Goldwing. And what I found was the red plug that the DIN cable plugs into the wiring harness. I found those on uh, Amazon and I ordered a whole bag full of them. So I think I have 10. So <clears throat> disconnected the wiring off of the Goldwing, took apart that DIN cable, rewired it to the new plug, added an extra wire coming out of the DIN cable to a 3.5 jack audio jack, a TS, TRS, so tip ring and the common, so it's like the three different contacts on the pin. Not the one like your iPhone takes. So then I plugged that into the the headset that I had stripped. So I used a Q3 Cardo for the test. What I found was that it was very garbled and echoey. After doing a little bit of research, I found out that I should have an attenuator in there. Did a little investigation online, found a couple. Ordered two different ones. I ordered an inline one that just has the 3.5 plug and, and the female and male end with the attenuator built in. I also bought one that I believe all it is is, is a volume knob. Um, they call it an attenuator. Maybe there's some circuitry inside. Um, what it consists of is this little box, and I'll show a close-up of it in the video, but um, it's called a Vol Box Mini. Very small, two 3.5s plug into it, has a little knob on it, in and out circuitry in it. So I plug that in, there's the Q3. So then I took a 3.5 jack, male, male, and I plugged it from the Q3 into the attenuator box. So that, that, that is that. So this does not connect to the free wire. It connects directly to your helmet via Bluetooth. It's like another rider riding beside you. Comes out. Right now I've got it going to a, a little speaker. But I have the plug plugged into the bike, which is right here, coming out of the DIN cable from the microphone terminals. So I plug that into the outside of the little ball box mini. Then, keyed the mic. It was getting the echo. I have a small walkie-talkie in the other room. I put the videotape onto it to listen to it while I was out here. I'm getting a loud buzzing noise, but I get that with the free wire, the headset, or anything, and I think it's just because I'm so close. If I was a mile down the road, it wouldn't it wouldn't be buzzing. I think it's just that we're too damn close to each other. So that that noise doesn't have anything to do with this, the things that I'm doing here. So 
Then I just started keying the mic and talking and turning this down and down and down and down. And finally the echo and all the noise, other than the buzzing from being too close, that's all there. My voice is extremely clear and everything looks like it's working properly. So. on a Bluetooth connection so I will right now if I use that I would have to bridge to this Bluetooth Q3 and then be DMC to everybody else perfect as long as that works fine I haven't been able to test it it's a rainstorm possibly going to freezing rain as it gets colder tonight so we don't know what's going on it's a big storm coming and they're calling for flash floods and all kinds of crazy so um, so as it stands now, it works, and all it cost me was pulling this out of the cupboard because I had I have two of these that I'm not using. But my intention is that I'll replace this with a Cardo Pack Talk bowl, mounted exactly the same as this. So I stripped off all the mounting and the microphone. There's two little screws here that would mount the other piece of the plate to it. So what I'm going to do is in the glove box on the left hand side I have my satellite radio screwed to this side of the box I will drop in the Q3 on the other side like this and match the screw holes and screw it into the box on the other side. Then I'll bring in the sound cable from the other side and the other part of the project is, and any of you Goldwing guys know, that they have replacement caps for the top of the brake and clutch reservoir with three switches on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one on each side and I'm going to wire up the various accessories. Number one, the power to the satellite radio and the power to this unit will have their own separate switch so I can turn them on to charge. And that's the only difference between running off of the free wire and running off of the Q3. Every time I get on the bike I'm going to have to turn the Q3 on. Unless it's, you know, we're on a road trip and I just leave it on while we're in having a coffee, it'll last for hours and then I'll just turn on the switch to recharge it whenever I need to. I'll keep it directly plugged in at all times in the glove box about your uncle. So that's what we've got going on now. I tested it with the 20S Cena through the freeware. I'm getting the exact same sounds that I'm getting through the, that system as I'm getting through this new system. So. So I'm really pleased. So uh, the free wire still brings all the sound into my helmet from the bike. Radio, CB, CD, FM, everything is coming in through there. Even the satellite radio to my helmet. But my helmet is talking to the CB microphone separately through this Cardo Q3. This is the unit that I bought online on Amazon. I bought 10 of them, came with all the different prongs inside and the back side if I needed it, but right now it's to the original plug. Um, so all this does is the two wires go into the, into the microphone for the CB switch here. The rest is still through the free wire, which is up here in the glove box, it's plugged into the five pin din. Then, it goes from there to the Volbox Mini, which has a 3.5 in and out, 
and and the volume knob. Should be pretty easy to mount. I'll just put some Velcro on the back and stick it inside the box or inside there. Once it's set, I should never have to touch it again, and you don't want to have it someplace where you're going to bump into it and screw it up. Because when you're out on the road, you won't know that you're getting that garbled sound if it's turned up. So probably best we leave it just where it is. I'm not really going to finish wiring everything in until till I see the other unit that I bought when it arrives and I'll try it and if it works fine I'll I'll do away I won't use this one but I think maybe this is the one that I'm going to end up using. So everything's exactly the same inside. If you look here's the box with all the cables for the satellite and everything. See the satellite radio is built in and it's screwed into the side. Very neat. So what I want to do is I'll mount the I'll mount whichever cardo unit I use in on the back side here somehow. Probably down a little bit lower. So the screw holes will be down about here. They will mount with these holes here. So that'll just stick on the side and that'll be it. It'll be out of the way. So everything should work exactly the way I want it to when it's done. And I will be very happy. Uh, I've been trying to set up the CB antenna a little bit, so I've been checking it. Everything looks fine on it, so. Um, yeah so the next video coming up will be the ultimate 1800 wing on the gold wing seat by ultimate seats look at that and uh, looking forward to everybody getting a look at it and see how things really work with this seat it's it's pretty pretty good coming up on Jarvis Biker. Stands right now. So, if I only ride with two or three riders, we can ride in Bluetooth mode with, even with our Pack Talk or the Smart H that we have that do have DMC as well. So, we can use the Bluetooth mode only when we have to go to DMC with a larger group, which may never happen. Then I would have to bridge to the Q3 if I wanted to use the CB while on that trip. Necessarily have to do it, I can leave it off and just not have the CB unless I need it. So that's it. I'll put all the highlights in into the video and let you see everything as I'm talking about it. But um, I think Chris Caliente is going to be pleased with me that I figured it out. Um, I hope he is anyway, because I put a lot into it and a lot of work. So, this is Jarvis Biker. Uh, everybody have a good winter, and we're trying to hold the fort here in Ontario, Canada. So we'll see you later.